beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. It's time for beer number 18 for the Brewers Advent Calendar 2021. I've mentioned this a few times before now. I'm trying to kind of mix it up a bit and break it up a bit. But essentially, for me, this takes me out of my comfort zone completely. It makes things interesting because I don't know what glass to choose. I don't know what beer I'm going to get. Normally, I pick my beers, I put them on the side, I get in my comfort zone, I know what's coming. Generally, if it's a West Coast IPA or a Baltic Porter, I know it because I can see it on the side in front of me. i got my glasses prepared. You know, I, I, I'm mentally kind of ready for it. But when you don't really know what's coming, I generally have an idea of what glass I'm going to use. A lot of the beers have been lagers, a lot of the beers have been Hellers or Pilsners, but, you know, I've had a few Vice beers as well, and I've had a couple of darker beers. Right, here we go. Day 18. <clears throat> Ul Hell. Bearish Vol beer. 5% ABV. I tell you the other thing that's surprising me as well is the price. I paid £56 for this in Costco. It's a cash and carry, so you can have it slightly lower. I've had a lot of comments where people have been saying, hang on a minute, this has been costing between £65 and £70 on Amazon. It probably would because, of course, you're buying something at cash and carry price. You need to make a little profit on that, so you're going to knock a fiver or a tenner on to make a bit of a profit for yourself on it, aren't you? But anyway, going back to that very point of me paying £56 for it, it's a lot of beer. It's only when you get to, like, day 18 that you're thinking, I've had 18 beers here. For, for I'm going to get 24 beers for £56. But the, the initial outlay is always a bit, oof, you know? But... I'm going to be having this for more or less a month, having a beer a day for a month. It's been fantastic value for money. The beers have been all very interesting. I've never had a beer from this very box or, or, or in the past when some fantastic German people have contacted me and said, hey, do you want to try some German beer? You know, there's not one beer on this box that I've had before, which is super cool. Anyway, let's get this Heller's Lager out, 5% ABV. It's very interesting. We got a three to four finger white head. Fantastic carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. But I will say this glass does have a, it is a nucleated glass. As you can see on the bottom there, it's etched. So it's going to carbonate more, quicker. There's a plus side to that and that is your beer looks very nice for about five minutes. The downside is after about five or ten minutes because... The nucleated glass is creating that extra carbonation. Your beer is going to go flatter quicker. So um, if you do use a nucleated glass, drink your beer a bit quicker. <laughs> Which is always a good excuse anyway, isn't it? <clears throat> Looks very nice, very crisp, very clear, light straw coloured beer. There's a little bit of light sediment floating around in the glass. Let's get the aroma. Smells good. Smells very good. Lemony, spicy, peppery. You're definitely picking up that light, crisp biscuit malt. Or light, crisp, wafer-like malt, I should say. Not biscuit. Biscuit's wrong. Biscuit would be a darker beer. Wafer would be a better example of, of what I'm getting in the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. 
Super duper crispy. Super duper crispy. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Love a Hell's Lager. You start off with that light, crisp, biscuity notes. That light, crisp, biscuity note actually goes all the way through the flavour from start to finish. A little bit of pepperiness, spiciness coming through as well. But I will never forget this style of beer. We're right at the end of 2021. In fact, we are, yeah. We're not quite the 18th because I need to get the video out on the morning of the 18th. So, shh. It's a couple of days before, but I, I have to process and sort the videos out. And they, they go up, a, they, this is a couple of days before the video gets put out. But anyway, we're nearing the end of the year. We're a few weeks away from the end of the year. And 2021 has definitely been the year of the Helles Lager, without a shadow of a doubt. And the light bulb moment happened for me when, when I was invited to Germany to go to a brewery Uber, Uberquell. <clears throat> and I had Uberquell's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Hellas Lager straight out of the tank in the grounds of the brewery. The sun was shining. It was an August day. And I have never, ever quite had a lager like it. Straight from the tap. It was Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. One of the best, best beers I've ever experienced. Anyway, that opened my eyes completely to the Hellas Lager style. That was the moment where I went, I love a Hells. I love a Hells. It's not as bitter as a Pilsner, but it's just as crispy and wafery and malty. Beautiful beer. Lovely. I don't know if you heard that about 10 seconds ago. Um, one of them things in life that grange slightly. A wonderful neighbour who, uh, you know, doesn't choose to do anything in life, really. Wakes up at like eight minutes to nine every morning, grabs hold of her kid, dresses him within two minutes and she literally chucks him in the car but I don't know if you heard that noise she reverses down the street at about it seems like 40 miles an hour and there's kids living at the bottom of the, the street little toddlers and they come out on their bikes and I mean considering this cretin has just woken up eight minutes ago I, she's not in total control of that car I wouldn't be in total control of that car if I just woke up eight minutes ago. But to reverse it, what seems like 30, 40 miles an hour, completely out of control, into a... So she reverses down into a, another street that anything could be coming, you know, type of thing. Do it once, yeah, okay, fair enough, you're late. Do it every day for four years because you haven't got a flipping alarm clock drives me bonkers. It's none of my business, really, but I can handle it once. But years and years and years of it makes me want to live in a detached house in the middle of flipping nowhere. Tell you. <laughs> Water, barley malt and hops. I'm ready to rate this one. Ready to rate it. Earl Hell, Bayerish Vol Beer, 5% ABV. It's a beautiful beer. Nicely carbonated, beautiful flavours, beautiful balance to the beer. I could drink I could drink six pints of that. I could drink six pints of that quite easily. I'm gonna rate it and I'm gonna give it a smashing nine out of ten. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.